All right, so how do you feel about the deal? The Hoosiers we talked to weren't really fans. RTV6 reporter Norman Cox says experts doubt the deal will work, and ordinary people are fed up with the inability of Congress to achieve a compromise. Norman. Most of the people we talked with believe this is a band aid and that the politicians will be back and having the same old arguments in another two months, maybe sooner. The motion is adopted. While many politicians were hailing the vote to bring the nation back from the cliff, Hoosiers seemed skeptical that anything had really been accomplished, especially since there was no move to cut spending at this time. The deficit isn't going to change if you add taxes, I believe. There's going to be more coming back through, I'm sure. I mean, I, nobody's going to be satisfied. Yeah, I think the government spends too much money. They need to cut back on that for sure. So you I don't like it. Is this a good deal or a bad deal? University of Indianapolis economist Matt Will says it's no deal at all because it puts off all the hard decisions on spending cuts. It's kind of like a, a person with a, a gangrene in their foot. You know, if we fell off the fiscal cliff, we were going to cut it off and we would have lived. Unfortunately, we're not. So the disease is going to get worse and worse and worse and the deficit will grow. And, you know, we're going to have to deal with this sooner or later. And the more we put it off, the worse it's going to be, the pain. The stock market reacted well to the deal, but Will says that's because the market always reacts well to short-term fixes. Indiana Chamber of Commerce President Kevin Brinninger says the deal won't encourage his members to expand and hire people because it does nothing to curb what they feel is the real cause of the problem, too much government spending. So they've made a small dent in the problem, but by no means should they be celebrating or patting themselves on the back because the, they haven't come anywhere close to addressing the underlying fundamental problem. That got postponed. Coming up at 7, more on the rescue package and how it will mean what it will mean to your family. I'm Roman Cox, RTV6.